guys? So we're back out of the shop with another daily vlog. And guys, you know what? It's time to make a sheath for this. So this is that EDC knife that we're working on. Now, whenever I was thinking about doing the Kydex sheath for this, I was trying to decide, do I want to come up with something that is going to be, you know, super intricate and have all the extra stuff like how this one is where it's got the overlay it's got multiple clips on it you know it's a crazier shape so something like that or do I want to go with something that's a little bit classier and simplistic and something that just looks good with everything and I, I think I want to go with the simplistic route so I think what I'm going to do is we are going to use some flat dark earth because I think it's going to contrast with that black handle real well and then we're going to do a slim ulti clip so I think this all together is going to be a real nice package so that's what we're going to do today that doesn't mean that I won't change it along the way that's just my plan is to go simple we'll see what happens when we get into it but let's go ahead let's jump into it see how it turns out so we're going to go ahead and get the blade taped up and I'm just doing two layers of tape on this. That's all that's really necessary to put a little gap between the blade and the kydex itself while still being able to get a pretty good amount of definition whenever you go to press it. And you can take the blade however you want. It doesn't have to be exact or anything like that. So you can see here, I actually didn't cut all the way up into the recurved area. I left it straight to make it easier to pull out whenever you go to remove the knife from the sheath. And then whenever you're putting this into the taco style sheath, you want to put that spine all the way up into the area, which would be like the meat of the taco. You want to get it all the way up there and then go ahead and press it from there. It just has a really good end product. So you don't have any weird area above the spine of the knife. We got a good amount of definition on this one. I think this is going to look really good with the end product. Now just like I've done on other sheaths, I go ahead and I start drawing out where the knife is actually located in the sheath so I don't have to keep referencing the shadows. This just lets me know, okay, everything needs to be based off of this. And of course we're doing the slim ulti clip so we want to be able to space out where we want that so that we can then start figuring out okay where is the excess going to need to be cut off here and I was going to do it a little bit wider then I decided that I was going to put some spacers on the clip itself which would raise it up so that I can shift it over a little bit closer to the blade and I was able to remove a little bit more sheath material and make it more slim and then I did one inch spaces between the lines for where the centers of the eyelets are going to be and then I went in half an inch that's where I decided to put my centers for my eyelets. Let me go ahead and we just run a punch all the way down the centers. Make it easier to drill through later. already used a smaller drill bit and did a pilot hole. But we're going to go ahead and use our step bit 
and go all the way out to quarter inch holes on this. Make it to where the eyelets fit real well. And like I said in the past, I like the step bit because it doesn't melt the kydex. Now when it comes to cutting out your, your sheath, you want to make sure that you cut on the outside of the lines that you draw. That way you can sand or grind back to those. Now we're using a 60 grit belt this time just to try it out. We're going to go around, get everything sanded smooth, get rid of any of the cutting lines from the porta bandsaw, and then start kind of rounding the edges, making a little bit, you know, making it to where it's nice and smooth and has a good shape to it. And then we're going to get into this little curved area with the small drum from the oscillating spindle sander. I'm just using an 80 grit drum for this. And once we get the shape that we like on that, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of a bevel all the way around the sheath just to make the sanding part a little bit easier when we go to hand sand. And this makes sure that there's no hard edges anywhere on the sheet. Now we're using some 220 grit and then I go up to 360 grit after that. And we're going to just do that. I'm not going to go any higher than that. I don't plan on buffing this edge. I just want a nice matte finish. Now with the eyelets, we're gonna use my little setup that I have here, a little punch and a hammer. Now when it comes to using the heat gun on this, you just want to make sure that you're only getting it hot enough to start moving the kydex. You don't want to accidentally melt the kydex. But we're doing a little thumb rest right here. I find it easier to do the thumb rest with the knife in the actual sheath as it lets you hold on to something while you're pushing it. And then we're going to start adjusting the retention. And I didn't exactly like how loose it was. I wanted to have just a little bit more retention so I did go ahead and adjust it again just to make sure that we have the right amount of retention on there. That's a nice click into place that I like. <laughs> now whenever I initially put this on and filmed it uh, this was me putting it on as a left hand draw type sheath and I am right handed so I did end up having to flip this to the other side off the camera but this lets you know I did the same exact process that you're seeing right here just in reverse. Those little rubber spacers put just enough space on there to make it to where your belt runs perfectly in front of where the front of the handle is on the knife. Now for this, you can see that I actually put points on the end of that. When you heat up the end of the paracord, you just get it to where it's melted, let it cool for just a split second, and then pull it with your fingertips. Be careful not to burn yourself, but uh, having that point makes it easier to do the step that we're about to do with the bead. So 
but you just kind of run it in there and then you'll use the friction from the other paracord piece to help pull that strand through and you can do it just like that and these are some hardwood beads that are stained a very dark color And then whenever I do this, I'll heat it up and I'll use this piece of metal to just flatten the ends. All right guys, let's go ahead and wrap up today's daily vlog. So I have the knife on me right now. I mean, it does not stand out at all. It is already on me, but because of the way the sheath is built and the fact that the top of it is even with your belt line, and if you're wearing something like khakis with this flat dark earth sheath and then the darker handle, it does not stand out. It doesn't look like something random is on your body. So even with you carrying it just like this, I mean, you know, you could have your shirt tucked in, and I did wear it like that for a little bit today, and you, it just doesn't print at all. But even with your shirt tucked in, I was wearing a uh, navy blue shirt today, and then khakis, and everybody at work didn't even realize that I had the knife on me until I pointed it out. So it was awesome, it blended in, it rolled against my body real flat, and I mean, I did pretty much everything today and nothing binded, it didn't feel awkward. So I'm happy that I went ahead and did the vertical sheath as opposed to a horizontal sheath. I just think that this package feels great and looks great. And I know that I did a more simplistic sheath here. Let's go ahead and clip this. Love that that clips into place like that. But I know that I did a more simplistic sheath but I felt like this knife did not need all of the extra stuff on it. I felt like it needed to be simple and sleek because the knife itself is simple and sleek. So we didn't need to go crazy with this. We needed to make something that was perfectly paired with it. And I know you might have been thinking whenever I was putting the lanyard on there, why is he doing FDE uh, on this knife? This is like a tactical looking knife. Why is he putting this particular color paracord on it? But I like to think of the whole entire package whenever you're wearing it. And this goes perfect with this. And I know that some people might not get why we do the lanyards on here. Uh, for one, it does give you a little extra something to just in case you need to get it out. You can, uh, it gives you a little extra something to grab a hold of. But one of the things that I like about the paracord lanyards is this is extra cordage right here. So I leave all the strands inside here. I don't pull those out and make it thinner. I leave all of them in there. You can always take this and untie it and use everything that's right here uh, in everyday scenarios. So if you're gonna have an EDC knife like this, it just makes sense to have a little bit of this because you might not have a bracelet or something in your EDC bag that gives you an extra bit of paracord. So this does. And this measures out to a foot and a half worth of paracord whenever you take this all apart. So it's a good length, especially with all the extra strands inside there. You tie those all together, do whatever you gotta do with them. But guys, what do y'all think about that? Now for one, I love any time that you make a sheath that it clicks into place like that but there it is y'all tell me what y'all think about that uh i think that y'all are gonna like this and of course i could be wrong but i think i'm right um <laughs> guys thank y'all for coming by if y'all would give this video a thumbs up share this video or a video i've done in the past that might be your favorite and if you would 
bottom corner, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you get notified for when we start our next build, which will be tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be an awesome one. Y'all are really going to like it. And uh, guys, thank y'all for coming by. Thank y'all for spending your time with me. You know, y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there. Make sure you keep your EDCs on you. I'll catch y'all next time.